works. Please let this work. Alright, Twitch, are you working? Okay, that's... Looks good. Yay, that looks good. Okay, now to see. Uh, now to see if it works elsewhere. Bear with me, please. I have science. <laughs> Okay, I've just turned my headphones don't work. Okay, nope, it works just fine. Yay! The audio actually works! hear the game sounds and everything it's perfect jolly good jolly 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 good the nightmare of last last time was over that means I can tell people the streams happening now watch my connection die just because I'm not to jinx myself all right who's here is anyone here yet hello monster kicker just in time all right time to spam the world All right, let's go there. Okay, and over here, and over here. And over here as well. And over here. Okay. Let's go, where shall we go? Over here, yes. There we go. And over here, whoop! And spammed. I have spammed the world! Mwahaha! Taking a break for doing this early presence theme, doing this world public right now. Nice! Speaking of which, um probably guessed this people but that's what we're doing today and we're going to um, we're gonna hop into canoe Mageddon and um, we're gonna actually inspect things there because that's fun it also means that uh, if we look at fleet colors yeah we can perfect we can actually look at things in the fleet colors they're supposed to be and adjust them accordingly and our little pyramid here is going to be very annoying. Okay, so let's just start going through uh, the designs. And da -da -da, let's just start over here. I had a frantic few minutes this morning just trying to get uh, all grab all the latest Old Republic stuff uh, off the workshop. So let's just begin. All right. So first we have. This is in no particular order, and I think I have seen some of these already, but um, we're just going to sort them. So, immediately, um, we have a ship. So, yeah, I have forgot this, actually. Like, the whole point of the Sewol Republic is that they always have sub-vehicles. This looks lovely. This is by Inky Boy. The Trident class. Guided Missile Cruiser. Alright, so first things first, let's do... Oh, this already has all this set up. Perfect! Perfect! Alright. Uh, let's go here and go ships. Ships, there we go. Because this is fun to do. So you go there, you go there. Perfect. And then we've got a Muchikawa thingy bob that has no sub vehicle so it needs one it does look adorable though and it's going to collide with something it shouldn't be too hard to uh like make it uh, 
make it right though, because like technically you could just spawn it in pairs and that will do the trick. You are not going to collide with your friend. You are going to collide with your friend. You damn fool. Alright, so uh, the Machalka goes here. Hello, Henry Wong. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. We're sorting some stuff. And also, uh, hold on, let's see here. What is this in? This is paint. Um, this is color zero. Interesting. All right. How about this? What color is this? This is paint four. All right, so we do need to, as we go, uh, change uh, the paint scheme of various things. What the hell is this? Um, what? This is a sub-object. It's a sub-object, but why? Why is it a sub-object? Well, we have no choice. We have to go spawn in some Drosseras just so we can see things. Oh, it's for those. Righty ho, all right. That makes sense. We think it. Yeah, I think it's the. Uh, I think it's the custom. Yeah, it is. It's the custom. Uh, what do you would call it? Uh, the custom. Wow, I don't remember what that is called. I am a sleepy sheepy today, I just want to say, so, oh boy, you are going to have a bad day. Yes, you are. Okay. Wee. Okay, enough of that. Enough of that! Let's mess with some paint. Right, everybody stop moving for a second. And repair. And we're just going to switch a whole bunch of colors around. So let's go here, armor retrofit, metal zero, alloy, metal zero to main, then alloy to uh, alloy zero to alloy secondary, and then Oh dear, there's a lot of... Alright, so that is something that the actual author of the of the piece is going to have to do. I just want to see them and sort them so long. Okay, how does the stream look? It looks lovely. It looks fan dabby dozy It looks so good. From the Depths, I realize now, is actually a decently easy game to stream. Um, I had such a nightmare yesterday with Grim Dawn, and it was probably all my fault for messing with Twitch settings. I'm still not over it. I'm still traumatized. Uh, right, let's keep going. So we've got the Machaka, we've got another coastal patrol boat. Hello, hello. Let us switch our fleet colors to the Sewol Republic so we can... Yes! Beautiful. This is gorgeous. It's Inky Boy again. Gotta love the hydrofoils. Alright, so yeah, that's a... Hold on. I didn't check this. Right, and I need to go check the last thing I did as well. Alright, so you go into ships, of course, and let's uh, check on you as well. Make sure you are correct. You are correct, so let's save you as the correct thing. Moving on, more little boats. We got a Sand Shark IFV? That doesn't look right. That can't be right. Hold on a minute. Hold on, let me just go hop on the workshop for a second. Uh, sand. Shark. Oh, dearie me. Huh. 
This got saved over at some point. Hang on. Hang on, hang on. Need to go do some stuff. I did a whoopsie. I saved over something. Alright, so let's go find the sand shark again. I think... Where would the sand shark be? It's be one of the last things here. There it is. Download. Save there. And we have to go back over here. So we'll republic. Save over that. Launch designer. Oh dear. Um. Hmm. <laughs> the man, the myth, the leg uh, appears to have saved the lo wrong blueprint in there. Uh, so we're just gonna. This is clearly not the thing shown. Um. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Huh. Interesting. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dearie dearie me. Okay. Uh, right. Uh, we're just gonna... Um, we're gonna just uh, bench that for a second. Uh, and move on to the Coral Glass. Alright, this one's a little bit uh, rudimentary, but that's okay. It's got a little thing. Neat. Who made this? 3D Wrecker. Hey, hey, Dolroth, hello. Hello, hello. Alright, let's do that. Excellent. Full of material. Hey, it looks like people... Looks like people updated since the last time I did this. Excellent. Okay. Jolly good. Let's turn that off and... Turn that off. And... Save like so, and let us go to ships again because it's a ship. Holy ship! You make sure your vods are getting game audio again. Well, it should work now. Uh, there's a setting in OBS uh, specifically for Twitch vods uh, that basically records and saves us as the VOD, different audio that's on stream, and I had that checked, and that got rid of the game audio for some reason, so hopefully that doesn't happen again. If it does happen again, it's just gonna be very embarrassing. I'm gonna have to download the VOD, and then, I don't know, edit something chill over it. I don't know. And just to be absolutely sure, because I'm paranoid, game audio and voice, you can hear both, right? I'm gonna beep for a little bit. Beep, 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 beep. Oh boy, last, like, that VOD is gone, by the way. No one will ever see my shame. No one will ever see my whole ass hanging out. Because I must have secrets. Uh, okay, so we've got the coral glass in there. Uh, I'm just gonna delete this for now. And we're gonna go ahead to the Merchant Raider. Ooh. Car Whoa! Carbengo made this one! Carbengo is one of the codols. It's great. Awesome! Look at this! What's their... Wait a minute. There's something... There's something strange in here. This is too expensive uh, and has a lot of APS. What's in here? Right, you guys gotta play for a second. And, um, I think this thing has surprises in it. And let's go... Oh, the, this is so cool. This is so cool, I love it. So if I spawn in the Drosera, are you going to... Oh, you cheeky bugger! <laughs> oh, there's the gun! It just, you know, it has a little Sea Wiz railgun, just, um, just right the hell there. Of course it does. One of the Coddles or one of the devs, actually? I can't remember which off the top of my head. Oh boy, that's cheeky. I like that. That is like... That's a little bit, uh, it's a little bit too sneaky. It should at least have a hatch or something there, but, like, I love the premise of that. It's so good. Oh, boy. Yeah. 
Okay, so this is, yeah, this is an attack craft and not the other thing. And, um, how much? Ooh. I guess it would be, it's cargo and I guess that and you should keep stuff at the very least. Repair all, get rid of that. Save over that, and we're gonna put you in the ship category because that's where you live now. That's such fun. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, hidden weapons are fun. I never am motivated enough to do them, but, um, yeah, they're fun. Alright, so we got the air covet. With dazzle camouflage. And it's an airship. There's no reason why I can't really have an airship, but, um... It does need, I don't know, it needs some kind of visual thing, uh, to look like it's flying, I guess? Uh, hold on, let's have a look here. Yep, okay, that's all good in the neighborhood. Let's get rid of that. Save there, and air covet. We need an airship section. By gum, we need an airship section. Airships. It also needs a sub-vehicle, so that's important. Let's go here. We have an airship. Holy ship, we have an airship. Yeah, like, this looks cool. Like, it really does look like a ship. It's, oh, there we go. We've got some just, I don't know. I don't know. It's like, I like this. I never do this, but I like it. Yeah. And let's go here, let's move right on. So we've got a Vindicator class destroyer. Lots of ships, lots of ships. Do that. Oh, this looks good. Oh, this looks so good. Who made this? Retardal. Sounds bad if you say that too fast, but yeah, look at this. This is beautiful. Uh, just gotta check, let's check, what's the paint? What is the paint? The paint is that, so that's going to need to be changed at some point. Um, yeah. Live boat and water when boat go air. True. Yeah, I mean, is it? No, it's not. I don't think this is custom camo. No, this looks like dazzle camouflage. Yeah, see, it's camo dazzle one. How do they rotate the blocks to get the camo to apply differently? I don't think that's... Oh, that's mimicked. That's mimicked by the looks of it. So, yeah, that's... yep. Hold on, let's go to Mimic View. Uh, only view Mimics. Oh! Or not. Oh no, it's a sub-object. So, if I go here... Oh, I know what this is, I think. Aha! Okay, wait. Uh, you vanish for a second. We need to investigate something here. Um, and we're just spawning a Hawa Confederation stuff just for giggles. Alright, so this should open up. Oh, that is so cool! Oh, that is so cool. Is that gun firing? I'm not sure that it is. Also, wait a minute, get, this thing can steer, okay. Right, let's go check here. Why aren't you firing? Interesting. Maybe it's firing restrictions are wrong, or maybe it's a sea whiz gun. Go have a little squiz. Uh, no, it should be firing. Altitude bracket. Oh, right. It's too low. I don't know if that's on purpose or not. Righty-ho, like... I gotta copy that. And these are... these are Azijets. Woo! Alright, so yeah, if you look up, um... Just Sawowl Republic, like... Or just Sawowl on, um... On the workshop, you'll find all of these. 
It's so good. All right. Uh, let's plonk the Vindicator where it's supposed to be. And let's save here and put you in ships. So... Okay, let's go there, clear some space, and now we've got the Tyranny! Question Master, I hope you're... Wait for the campaign to capture it the way Somalia intended. Oh, you rude person. Alright, so, so what will Republic Tyranny class submarine? Yeah, this thing is, uh... This thing is a beauty, actually. I think it's been updated quite a lot uh, since, uh... What the hell am I looking at? Oh, the periscope is a sub-object. Whoopsie-daisy. Whoopsie daisy indeed, this thing is uh... Right, so yeah, Question Master's been busy, there's a lot of th- oh, uh oh. Oh dear. Uh, some optimization needed, uh, it looks like... Yeah, terrain. Terrain is a problem. Or what the hell happened here? What fell off? Oh, yep, nope, that's definitely terrain. Terrain was a problem. No worries. No worries, we can still chuck this thing uh, where it's supposed to be. There's the buoy. There's another submarine. An attorney class submarine, there we go. And let's just save you. Actually, no, let's just... Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Just make sure that you're... Yep. Does that even have... Nope, it doesn't. Right, these things need a little bit of optimization because that keeps happening. That buoy is so <laughs> freaking clever. I love it. Detached periscope. Yes, uh-oh. Uh, more rubber needed. More rubber needed. Oh dear, that's a, that's a problem. All right, let's uh, save this and then go chuck it in the submarine section because uh, there's going to be a big submarine section for this faction. Submarines, tyranny goes here. There we go. Get rid of all of you. And we've got the Botfly Torpedo, and this is... This is something... Ipsoc. Ooh. If I spawn in the Drosera... So this is a nuclear torpedo, basically, and it's quite cool. Let's have a look at it. Ah! It is very wiggly. It goes... Whoa! Hello! Ha ha ha! Not quite. Uh, let's try that again, but with more fun. Alright, what fly goes here? Oh no. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Spawned it in the air! It's not supposed to do that! Wee Sploosh. Alright. That's better. <laughs> I gotta make some nuclear torps. It'd be fun. Let's see if it actually hits the target. It's a little confused. I mean, makes sense. You wanted to get back in the water, I guess. Come on, you know, you know you want to. Uh, suicide craft is hard. It's going wiggle, 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 wiggle. All right. This is quite clever by the looks of it. It's actually adjusting itself so it can do the... Mm, interesting. Let's see here. Avoidance for enemies. Let's turn that off. Oh! We should save that first. And you missed by inches, you fool. You fool! 
There we go. There you go. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, does it have detection? Apparently Discord is a dollar limit of 25 megabytes. Okay. Oh uh, dear, that that's a problem. Uh, might have to Dropbox them. Okay, let's go... Right, so... I mean, this is technically a submarine, so let's go here. Autonomous little drone. And we've got the pack testing range, which is a structure... Quite a good one. I like this. I like this. Let's, uh... Hang on, let's go here. It doesn't really matter that much. Let's go. So we'll pack testing range. Goes... Structures. Google Drive. Yay! Does the pack turn? Good question. I don't know. I'm not sure the pack is even functional. Uh-huh. It does. It also appears to... Yeah, it does appear to. Lovely. Alright, so that's just a little... I guess a little bit of science. And uh, we're gonna adjust... I'm just gonna change the camo to... Navy 2, Navy 3. 6? What's happening here? Naval, not Navy. Naval 1, Naval 2, Naval 3. Naval 4. There we go, that'll do for now. Just a little, little change. Teeny little change. And let us go put that in... Did I finish typing structures? No, I didn't. Structures. There we go. And... Need to destroy you before I forget. Yay! Yep. Okay. Oh, lordy. Okay. No! I'm not allowed to be tired. That's bad. Okay, there's a lot of vehicles to get through. Okay, so Mountain Lion. Uh, I think this is a tank. It, in fact, it is a tank, so... Right, so I'm not sure how this is gonna work, because I definitely want to use these. So if we look at the map, since we're in Kanumagan anyway... Um, the Sawawal Republic is gonna be... Where is it gonna be? It's gonna be... This is... That, it's about this area over here. And there's not much land to play with, so... I am going to save this, but, um... I think, like, land vehicles have to be made amphibious. Um, just so that they get more of a chance to be seen and used by the AI. Uh, this is very Steel Empire, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna just get rid of that, and we're just gonna, just for now, we're gonna chuck it into tanks. And I think, yeah, like, all land vehicles... I think it is just a good idea for all land vehicles in this campaign to be amphibious. Um, just so... Uh, because the air is stupid, and it will try and move them into water anyway, probably, so... That'll probably be a good idea. Um, yeah, so let's just go here. Tanks. And I know it's not a tank, technically, but, um, you know, you know what I mean. Alright, let's just chuck you in there. You can get updated later. And we've got a helipad, so... Where's land? I want to go actually look at things on land. So, we're there. Let's head south. South, there we go. We should find some good land over this way. I hope. Hello. There we go, there's some land. We found it! I mean, like, what is artillery in front of the depths, let's be honest. Alright, so let's spawn this guy in, and that's a structure. 
This is hey Henry Wong. This is your work. Excellent. Let's just do that. And let's just do that. Does the Steam Workshop just automatically turn on like lock collection? Let's see. What's the firepower of this? Just missiles and stuff. That's pretty cool. I like this. I like this. It's got the whole decoed foundation. Jolly good. Let's. Uh, I didn't. I didn't change anything about that. So let's just. Hang on. Hang on. Oops. Double clicking. Uh, hmm. I'm just gonna do this. Just gonna do that. Just to be sure. Where should I post the link to the drive? Um, I think. Uh, good question. Uh, in the hub, it should be. Uh, probably like the custom campaign Discord, um, somewhere in there. In important, I'm guessing. Just put all the music in there. It should be. It should hopefully do the trick. Um, right. Let's see. Uh, what was I doing? All right. Let's chuck this into structures like so, and. Turn that off, and let's see, what else is there? There's an FRV. What's an FRV? If I spawn this over here, what will it do? Oh, it's a plane! Whoa! Oh, look at this thing! It's even got wheels on it! Who did this? Jank! It's got laser-guided missiles on it. Right, we are going to need to adjust shields across the board to be invisible, because that looks a little funky. Okay, so let's just have a look here. Are you correct? Yes, you are. That means uh, we're just going to chuck you into airplanes. Planes. Plane to see. This is a plane. There we go. Whoops. We planes. And it's called the Shrike after the Deep Water Guard thing. Why did I go all the way over there? We turn you off. And what have we got here? We've got the Exodes. I forget what this is. That is. Oh, that's a submarine. Yay! Yay! Thank you, Monster Kicker. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, here we go, and this is... Kevin, hmm. Don't mind me, just checking for something. Whee! There's a blue point spawner. It's supposed to... Alright. Alright, let's uh, actually have you spawn in... Uh, the thing you're supposed to. Let's go there. There we go. And let's do a test spawn. Just repair you. I need to go do that later as well. There we go. There we go, a little bot fly spawning in. Let's just save you like so. Actually, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Uh oh. Whee! <laughs> I mean, that's an amphibious missile, I guess. Okay, let's just save you, uh, like so, and then we're gonna chuck you into submarines. Hello, Marcel! Hello, hello! This is mo this is moving a little bit odd, but it's okay. Uh, we got a Caracal IFV. This is a vehicle. Yeah, that, like, um... Honestly, if you throw a torpedo hard enough, it is a ballistic missile, ain't it? Alright, here's another tank that hopefully 
uh, can be made amphibious fairly easily. So we're just going to chuck this for now in the tank section. And um, I need to remember to tell uh, the world at large uh, that, yeah, t like all tanks should be amphibious unless specifically said otherwise. Yeah. Yeah, it's got ERA. Um, ERA is one of those things that really... That's an Eider, so... Aussie, yeah, also, not enough of these things have sub-vehicles, although I think some of them are meant to be sub-vehicles. So, just for future reference, for anyone, um... Wanting to update their designs, like... Wait a minute, this this thing is familiar. Who? Yeah, I remember this. This uh, spawned in with a, with a ship that we had earlier. It's Henry Wong's work. Yeah. Jolly good, jolly good. Save over the Ida. And put you in helicopters, I guess. We need a helicopter folder. Helicopters. We. There we go. And we got a goat over here. I think this is. Yep, this is Henry Wong again. This is a bomber of some description. What is this? This is yep, it is a it's a ground attack plane. Plane to see ground attack plane. Oh, that is so cool. Okay, let's um Yay! And it's it. Look at that. It's even got the little uh, Soul Republic insignia. Excellent. Love it. Okay. Uh, let's save over the goat and let's chuck that into planes where it lives. And then we got the leopard. Let's try and guess what this. Oh no! The Eider's having issues. The Eider has fixed its issues. No worries. Uh. Quick test, does the Eider... Wow, look at that. Does the Eider just... Okay, it kind of lands. It kind of lands. It kind of lands. Whee! Now if I do this... Yeah, roll control on helicopters is a bit of a pain in the ass. We I do like looking at this thing though. I like helicopters. I want I should build more of them. Oh no, do not crash land. Oh that looks cool. We That screenshot will be right there, I like it. Yep. Yak 15, yep. Hang on, let's go look at this. Yeah, that is It is yeah. I get it, yeah! We're getting a nice mixture of like... Yeah, just a Cold War mix. I like it. I like it. It's uh, as designed. Whoops. Alright, let's see. The Leopard is... That is a ship, and it has a little sub-vehicle, of course. Oh, wow, look at you! Wow, this is interesting! Look at you! IPX and it's got wow that is very that is futuristic um I believe this this is a real kind of propeller in case um people are wondering uh, that asymmetric design makes it I forget what it does I think one of the things it does is make it more quiet because it's like disrupts uh, the sound pattern a bit but yeah that's cool that's really cool I like that I like that uh, let's just check if it's... Yes, it's set correctly. And the seagull is set correctly. Jolly good. Look at that. Look at this future thing. See, this is what I meant. Futuristic uh, Cold War aesthetic. Rotors don't change speed to lower raise the... Yeah. Yeah, in real life, yeah, that's what happens. And from the depths, not so much. Yeah. Okay, let's uh, let's chuck this thing. Let's chuck the leopard into the ship section. Jolly good. I like. I love how like certain factions in this game like 
seem to be like people have really gravitated towards and the Republic is definitely one of them. I guess because it's like they're the equivalent of the Steel Striders in terms of aesthetics and like their whole deal. And then we have the Hatsagopteryx 2. I think this I think this is the one that should that actually replaces um, the other one and I believe this spawns in No, this is the fighter version. All right. I love the look at this thing. This is guns and engines and nothing else. What fun. Hold on, let's just correct that and you are falling into the ocean. Yeah, that is a problem. Let's get check here. Maneuver. Let's pitch towards target altitude. That is a better way of doing things generally. Does it not have any pitch control? Hello, 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 hello. What's this? Well, firstly, turn that off. Deacon's hell. There we go. Fixed. Fixed, fixed, fixed. Beautiful, beautiful. Planes, man. Yeah. Hello, Dr. Cruiser. What other stuff needs to be done? I mean, everything needs to be done. Um, all the designs need to be checked for standards that um, might change. So for the Sewell Republic, for instance, uh, their whole shtick is uh, sub-vehicles, so everything... Uh, all the vehicles that don't have sub-vehicles need sub-vehicles added, or at the very least they spawn in pairs. And um, what else? They need to be updated to use fleet colors. And they need to... Oh dear. Oh dearie dearie me. Alright, we're gonna save you so long, because hopefully uh, Question Master can come and uh, fix this a bit. What was I doing? Alright, so... You go there, you go planes. Where did the first Hatsagopteryx go? Did I do anything with it? Oh no, that was spawning in as part of the tyranny. Okay. Uh, we got the... Balter here. This is a little ship. This is Spencer. Get preference because replicas are where many. Yeah, it's a fair point. Replica factions are like that. Let's just check here. Do that. Save and chuck you in ships. And what else can we do? Let's have a hummingbird. Tiny little helicopter. Could do some deco work, but like, you know, it's all good, I believe. Yep. When in doubt, hydrojet engines make helicopters easier for yourself. Alright, this is definitely something that can be duct taped to other designs. Uh, let's go here, just save Hummingbird here. Who made this? Henry Wong! Hey! Hey, yo! Alright, so, hello to my copters. Currently only have two. I think there's more than that, though. I mean, yeah, the wings are thick, but there's like, you know, they're hiding jet engines, so it's okay. Uh, buff bag. Oh, yeah, another Henry Wong helicopter. Another Henry Wong helicopter, and I believe... Is this supposed to be a cargo thing? I'm gonna go with yes, that's supposed to be cargo. Yay, and just save, like so, buff back. Wait, no, that should go in support craft, I think. Or not, nah, we'll put it in helicopters, I think. No, 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 I need to... Mm. Alright, so the way it's going to be sorted in this folder is going to be a little bit different to how the campaign sorts it, so yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so I'm just gonna go here is resource. Resource and cargo. And let's go just chuck you in there. Paste, there we go. It is a good looking cargo helicopter. It's like there is I don't know what this reminds me of. I know there are helicopters which look like this. Um, I'm thinking Soviet ones, but maybe I'm crazy. 
Alright. Back, and there's, there's the Hatsagopteryx, the first, and I know for sure that uh, this one spawns in sub-vehicles and is gonna need... No, never mind. Never mind! Right, I don't know which one I should use. Question Master should probably confirm that. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to just check here. Boop, boop. And save. And put that in planes. I'm not sure what the difference between the number one and number two variant is. Um, all right, American Elgopter. Thank you, everyone. Yeah, Sky Trains. Sky Trains, yeah. Okay, and let's go over here. What is next? What is next? Is the LA H24? This is another. Okay, here I was. Here I was thinking is that like we didn't have enough helicopters. Look at this. It's a little drone. 3D wrecker. Yay! Need some time. Need some uh, prettying up. But apart from that, uh, <laughs> this is so cute. Look at this. Look at this little fella. All right, let's. Uh, load you in there. LA-24 goes there. We're in the helicopter section, apparently. Alright, let's go here. And, yeah, and another helicopter. There we go. Wait a minute. Alright, oh, I remember this. It, it saved wrong. Uh, we need to... Oops. Yeah, I think this got saved backwards. Whoopsie daisy. Uh, we need to rename this then, don't we? A dogfighter style planes work in FTD. They're hard, actually. Um, I've made, uh, I think, at least one tutorial and one let's build on, like, gun planes. And building them uh, in from the depth. So, um, worth checking out if you haven't seen that already. Um, it's difficult, and like, you basically unavoidably have to put uh, the guns on some kind of turret. Um, so let's have a look here. These things are named backwards. Because this is definitely not the heli. Alright, so... I'm assuming... Ah, this is Comrade Tonk's work. Alright. I need to open Notepad for a hot second. Right, dogfighters are quite hard. Mal99 Wordzik. And. Different. Alright, so I don't know what the ship is meant to be called, so I'm gonna leave that where it is. Uh, I think that was meant to be changed at some point. Just gonna leave that out there. And what else can we do? Let's go here. The Hell Diver is a plane. Look at this. Who did the Inky Boy again? Yay! Yeah, 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 yay. Yeah. And save there. And Hell Diver goes there. And hell yeah. Excellent. I don't need to delete that. You can fly around for a little bit. You may live for now. Okay, so we got the Hell Diver. Uh, all right. Whoops. Nope. Now I do delete everything. I'm gonna like. Okay. We got the Light Zeppelin. Let's see what you is. This is. This is fun. This is. A little bit like the Kirov actually from Red Alert. But it's a scout. It's a scout of some kind. Oh, I like this. This is interesting. Uh, let's keep you full. Cartographer like Zeppelin. And again, like as ever. Oh no, this already has uh, proper fleet colors. Excellent. Excellent. Yee. Thank you for checking out my video. Thank you for playing my game. Who buzzed at me? Okay, uh, what was I doing? I was putting this in the airship section. Look at that! Two airships! And let's go over here. And we got the cataphract? What's this? Oh, we got a walker! Hey! 
<laughs> oh, Inky Boy, perfect. Yeah, this also has to be kind of amphibious. Um, otherwise, it's gonna drown. Hold on. Let's put this thing... We need a walker section now. Like, I wasn't planning for the Old Republic to have walkers, but, like, you know, at least one. At least one is good. Let's, uh, plonk you in there. Where are you? KG7 Cataphract. Look at this little guy! Bless his cotton socks. Oh, that's so good. Uh, we do need uh, to correct him. Yep, land vehicle. And all good. Look at this little guy! Whee! I love this. I don't even care if it's like, um, particularly like combat effective. This is just fun to look at. Um, let's spawn in. I want to see how well does it fight. Let's just spawn in a thing on land for it to shoot at. Uh, can it shoot? I hope so. It's got its little drone friend up here. I'm also going to just do this. Hold on a minute. Let's see. Paths. He's going to get over there eventually, probably. Hang on. Hang on, hang on. Let's do this a little bit better. Come on, little guy. Come on, little dude. There we go. We got some missiles. Thank goodness I put some, uh, I put God Mode on you, though. I think this is a thumbnail moment right here. Yay! Look at him! Oh, he's so cute! It's so cute! Oh, boy. There we go! Yes! I mean, the gun could have a little bit more oomph, but, you know, can't have everything. Has a little bit of trouble staying on target. There we go. Look at this little guy! Yay! <laughs> I'm just gonna keep taking screenshots of him. Look at this! This little fella. And if I turn off God Mode, what happens? Whee! Wow, it missed. That is one advantage of walkers, actually, is that, um... Because they're so janky... Um, they're actually kind of hard to hit because their blocks move around in a really weird way. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. Love it. Love it a bit. Oh, hello. Uh, we've got an orca. we got another airship. Where legs look like springs. Yay. Oh, yeah. Thanks for reminding me, uh, Cruiser. There's, there are emotes, so feel free to use emotes. I think Twitch likes it when people use emotes, so... I'm not sure how that's helpful. Oh, hello. I know exactly what this is. Yep. Question master. This is like, uh... This is just a reskinned Permian, you cheeky sod. Okay. I do kind of love how uh, Question Master goes hard on the designs. It's just like, yeah! Alright, this probably needs a little bit of deco, and uh, just, um, I don't know, a little bit of prettying up, but hey, big, mean airship. Yeah, this is the, uh, yeah, this is, alright, good point, this is, um, yeah, I think this is kind of old, actually, hold on, let's go check back on the workshop. Uh, what am I looking for? So, Wowl Orca. That should find it. So, Wowl Orca. 
Yep, question master. When was this? Okay. Right, yeah, so, yeah, nope, not this, uh, we're not putting this, uh, with uh, the swell because, like, it's a little bit too far from their aesthetic. Uh, so, sorry, but thankfully, uh, Kokave is gonna have the Permian, which is basically this thing again, but more fitting. So we're just gonna get rid of that. And delete that. Like, impressive sh build, but, um, yeah. Right, let's go here. The con the condor on the other hand, this this is so bowl as hell. Needs a little bit of uh needs a little bit of prettying up. Oh look at the shadow there, that's so cool. And yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is this is more the speed of the Sobowl Republic. So look at that. I just like it how the it casts a shadow when it flies low. It's very cinematic. And I don't usually like cinematic anything in game, so there is that. All right, so the condor can go into planes. Right there, we. And we've got the corrugate. That is a ship. One of my newer cruisers. Yep, laid will do. No, no, lasers are fine. Lasers are fine. This faction is allowed to have lasers, uh, which is what makes it different from the steel striders. Um, because remember, like. Laser research goes back, way back, and they were mucking around with it during the Cold War. The whole Star Wars project, uh, under Reagan, the whole idea was to use lasers to shoot down ICBMs in space, so... So World Republic, like, unless I put something in the rules that's stupid, so hold on, let's just... Uh, double check me Google Doc to make sure I wasn't a silly, silly person. Uh, FDD custom campaign. Sewol Republic. Yeah, weapons any. They're allowed to have lasers. It's all good. Any deco limits? Um, animated reload sequence. Um, uh, good point, actually. I'm not sure. Yeah, what is a sensible deco limit, guys? Um,. Because we do need that, because too many decorations is very laggy. For some people's computers, some people can handle it. Oh yeah, I remember this. Uh, this is the Corrugate, this is Night Tech, who did this one. Beautiful, beautiful. Yep, 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 that is a very interesting color palette. Okay. No anime girls. <laughs> But 100 to 500 decos, that's in total, right? <laughs> you don't need your interiors that badly, driver. Uh, another swivel plane, Type 21 twig. Okay, hey, hello in one ear. The 1K17 laser tank, all right. If I Google Soviet laser tank, is that just gonna pop up? Soviet laser tank. Oh yeah. How about that? You learn something new every day. Hmm. Interesting. So it's basically blinding enemy um, optical equipment. Neat. Okay, <laughs> less than 3,000 decos. <laughs> Uh, what was I doing? I was doing this. Are you correct? Yeah, this also, this is another one that needs a sub-vehicle. So, let's go... Uh... Right, save you. And load you into ships, because that's where you live now. And... Let's go over here and spawn in a new friend here. This is a Minnow-class Corvette. And it has a little thing. Yes, it does. Hang on a minute. Hello, hello, hello. What is this? It's a hummingbird. Yay, this is Henry Wong's work again. Lovely. Love to see it. Uh, hang on a minute. Are you going to collide with your big friend over there? Man, I hope not. And let's go there. And let's save you. And then we're gonna put you into ships. 
We Gotta go. Okay. See you, monster kicker. We Minnow Claws go. We Alright. Let's go. Let's check our timing here. It is It's Pepsi time. So uh, for the sake of uh, entertainment, I'm going to restart the designer, and I'm going to spawn in a bunch of ships just to have fun killing each other. So let's go spawn some stuff over here. Uh, let's go... Let's have one Sewol Republic craft just uh, go ham on a bunch of Howard Confederation stuff. Since it's here in the campaign, and yeah, I have not gotten around to loading anything else in, but I should. I absolutely should. Um, what was I doing? Alright, so let's load in a fun thing. What's a fun thing we just found? I think the vin the Vindicator is fun. Let's go here. Let's spawn in the Vindicator. And spawn in just a bunch of Droseras. And hopefully in the 30 seconds I'm gone, this will be entertaining. Alright, hold on. So it's ad break time. So let's go here. I'm going to spawn in two minutes of ads starting now. Right, it is Pepsi time. It is Pepsi time. It is Pepsi time. Subscribers can hear me now. Whee! All right, how are we doing? Does this thing not have detection? I don't think it has detection. It appears to be very confused. Uh-oh, that main gun is not working properly. Guns are very confused. I wasn't expecting this thing to... Oh, wow. Huh, I kind of thought this thing would win. <laughs> Oops. Oopsie doopsie. What the hell? It's like... Huh. I'm not sure who can hear me, but what the hell? How many deck? Yeah, let's see. How many decos on this? Blueprint maintenance tools. All right, so it's got three thousand. It's a little bit much. My system is handling it, but um, yeah, your mileage may vary. This is like this actually is an aesthetic build. Oops, oopsie poopsie. Whoopsie boopsie. Oh dear. Oh dearie me. We. Dumpty dum, dumpty dum. Wow, it's like. Alright, don't underestimate wooden ships, I guess. They're armed and dangerous. Okay, and welcome back. We survived the ad break. Any particularly interesting or weird ads? Because that's always fun to hear about. I don't see advertising much anymore. Uh, yeah. Right, so let's just get rid of all enemy vehicles and let's have a little squiz at our friend here. Uh, firstly, do you have any detection whatsoever? So if you're here... Okay, no, it has detection. It has it. It had yeah no okay no why no it should be it should work it should work but it's not working wait was I holding onto the I think I was holding onto the weapons the whole time oh no oh right okay so nope that was it's just like uh, the last stream I attempted uh, this was entirely my fault oops well then. Just as well, there was an ad playing, and, um... Well, I mean, I just gave the whole game away, didn't I? Uh, if you, uh, smack onto land, that'll be unfortunate for you. Okay, cool. Uh, 
Just out of curiosity, I do want to see... Uh, yeah, also, uh, for anyone building for this camp... Oh my goodness, whoa. Abandoned ship! Um, yeah, so that is very much on purpose uh, for this uh, campaign. Is that um, if you do not terrain-proof your ships, you are going to have a very bad time. So, yeah, rubber-proofing. Uh, pretty much all, <laughs> all things on water need it. This is a campaign, uh, in which amphibious vehicles are generally quite viable. Oh my god. Um, we're gonna need an old priest and a young priest. And yeah, that was... <laughs> right, this is, uh, I'm gonna unsponsored Pepsi moment. Someone clip this because... <laughs> Oh no, I shouldn't laugh. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dearie dearie me. Wee. Okay, enough of this. Um let's just uh pull you out of there and speed up time and spawn you back in. Hopefully you don't go absolutely loco. And now, just out of curiosity, I want to see what this looks like without all the decorations. Because I think it should look... Yeah, it looks fine! Looks a little bit more basic, but yeah, like, yeah. We don't need that many, that much deco. Wow, look at that. Although, yeah, no, okay, I, und I understand. I understand, like, there is... If you really want a beautiful, realistic hull, then yeah, Deco. Deco's the way to go. It's hard to... It's hard to have a nice, smooth hull without, like, proper Deco. Like, how the hell do you do this? Transition slopes, maybe. I'm just mucking around, mucking around for a second, by the way. Yeah, this is awkward. Ugh. Oh, uh, what? What? Whoa, yep. Wow. Twitch is weird. Okay, back to it. Back to it, ladies and gentle thems. Alright, we got a Fury class Corvette. Who's here? Oh yeah, so the Sewol Republic can also use spacecraft, by the way. That's totally fine. Um, I don't think we have any yet, but... Um, let's see, who, d who done did this? Retardal again. Yay! This is the kind of superstructure I should make. This is quite a modern looking craft, actually. It's quite cool. Alright, let's just check. Do you have... Nope, you don't. So, now you do. So, let's just save you there. Fury Class Corvette. And you go into ships. We've got a lot of ships for the Republic. More ships for the Republic! Beautiful, beautiful. All right, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, so... Right, border serpent. Hey, I'm flattered. Oh, no, please don't crash. Please don't crashy. We. Oh, this is beautiful! Look at this! Is this thing armed? No, it isn't. It's a spy plane. Hang on. Oh, no. This is gonna be like... Hold on a minute. Alright, it's got an absolute monster of an engine. But for what exactly? Hold on. Uh, radar decoy, heat 6, radar decoys 10. Radar decoys. Okay, so this is the kind of thing that should spawn in with something else and just be like a hell of a decoy, I guess? I don't know. Where are the. Where are the decoys here? I cannot see them. Also, that is a lot of wing blocks. Look at that. Right, this thing is too pretty not to use, but I'm not entirely sure. Alright, it's in the nose. I'm gonna test this, actually, to see how well it works. You park yourself for a second. And... Could be a hell of a bomber, actually. And save it like 
So, if I spawn in a Drosera, let's see what happens to those missiles. Because the Drosera definitely has them. Or does it? Hello? Do you have missiles? Or am I thinking of something else? Nope, Drosera does not. Uh, let's go over here. It's the fireweed that has missiles, I think. Damn it, look at this thing! It's so pretty! Alright, I think I get it now. It's meant to fly... Circle at a distance. Oh, alright, this is a little bit cheesy. Just a little bit. Yeah, it's meant to just be really annoying missile distraction. So this needs a rework. Um, for like a little bit. Because damn it, it's so pretty. But like the premise is not fun for a campaign. And also if this thing spawns on its own, it's just going to get mulched in by APS. Or lasers in particular. So yeah. Wait, it has an interior? Holy crap, look at this! Yeah, art, uh, art 20... Oh, R201, this is, this is beautiful, but yeah. Just needs to be changed into an actual combat craft, or cargo craft. I mean, we've got the cargo helis already, so probably not that. So let's just, uh, let's... We're gonna chuck this into planes for now, but this does need to be changed to be a little bit more... Um, a little bit less of like a deliberately annoying thing to to deal with. So we're down. Where are we? We're over here. Oh yeah, this is Glacave territory right here. All right, let's go there. And where we've got the equip. Ah, we have our first spacecraft. It's a space telescope. I don't know this is even armed. It also appears to be falling out of the sky. Huh, okay then. Pretty sure that's not what is supposed to happen. Alright, so I think this thing is meant to spawn in space, just a hunch, so let's try that in space. Wait for the clouds to disappear, let's see... There we go. Alright, what's this thing's deal? This is... Aha! <laughs> Propaganda! <laughs> uh, let's see, what's this? Uh, Aquarius. Let's go have a look here at the description. Because that is description-y. Aquarius. Oh dear. Redact it. <laughs> That's very Cold War. I do like that. Alright, so yeah. Uh, driver, if you want to submit something for this campaign, just put it on the Steam Workshop. And just include the faction name uh, in the blueprint, and I'll probably find it. Alright, so this thing is packing a railgun. This is railgun cheese. Let's see here. What's over here? This is... One gigantic lamb system. I like this. Look at this. Yeah, it's a space telescope. Honest, guys. Yeah, Gakave can also have spacecraft, by the way. So that's uh, that's all good. Let's spawn in a Drosera down there and see what happens. Um, okay, moving into position. Yep! Yay! Orbital cheese! Delicious orbital cheese. And 
Yes! We've got rods from God, guys! What kind of quality control is there gonna be? Uh, can you be more specific? Basically, if something is cheesy, or like, ugly, or doesn't fit the theme of faction, it won't be used. Now, there's already been some quality control uh, already, like, um, what was it? The Orca airship uh, didn't fit uh, the style of the Soil Republic, so, and like, it's it's been already remade into the Permian anyway, so that's all good. I mean, here's the thing about dropping something from space, um, if it's small, it doesn't matter, you just have to fling it really fast. Mm. That's a salute, right? Yep, it's a salute. Oh yeah, the Drosera also needs to be changed to not have heavy armor. Ooh, my bad. Alrighty. The Aquarius Telescope. Oh, that is so... That is so... I like this, because it's like... This thing is like... It will be a really rude shock uh, for people who are not ready for space stuff. But at the same time... Like, let's see, the top speed isn't that high, it's kind of slow, and yeah, it's like, yeah, no, this is fine, this is acceptable. Uh, let us load the telescope, let's go find spacecraft. Spacecraft, we've got a real, this faction's gonna be fun. This is gonna be a fun faction to deal with. And it has a sub-vehicle, so it's like, it's all good, it fits in. Uh, spacecraft, we have the telescope. Beautiful. Uh, Bosscraft, not sure we have that. That could be a space station, actually. Alrighty, let's go back down here. Uh, delete the Aquarius. And what do we got here? We've got a goat squadron, so this is just... Uh, same thing as before, really, Henry Wong's work. And that's all good, yep, the squadron, it can just, uh, oh no. <coughs> Excuse me. Look at these internals, excellent. And let's just put the goat squadron into planes, there we go. I'm a sneezy boy, thank you. Thank you, Super Sumuel. Sumuel. 2007. 2007 was a good year, I think. I don't quite remember. Alright, so here is a collection of small drones, which is where we can just... Alright, this gets a new folder all for itself. Alright, let's go here and just go, like, drones. Might shuffle things around at some point. In case uh, it's not obvious, like, um... I'm not rushing this campaign at all. It'll it'll be done when it's done. So let's just do that. Oh, look at them. Bless them. Bless their little cotton socks. All right. Let's just check that everything should be good. And do that for all of them. Save them one by one. And let's have a look at them. Look at this friend. Look at this guy. Look at this guy, the Bolt. Alright, so the, the Bolt, let's save you as... So we got the Bolt. We got the Dart. Look at this. Look at that. See, we've got a little optical, like, uh, the camera deco on the front there. It's so good. So adorable. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah. So yeah, by the way, alright, so little... I'm actually gonna go post the link to this, so... So, whoa, whoa, drones. So, whoa, whoa. Alright, so, just so people are aware, here's the link to this. Uh, so if you really are having trouble thinking of something to stick on your designs, um, you know, stick one of these on, because, like, you know, 
they've been built. Henry Wong built them, so there you go. Okay, uh, did I save? What is this? This is the. This is the. Is this the dart? Yes, it is. So save vehicle. Dart is over there. And see, also get rid of that. So there's the dart, and there's the opal. The little thing there, and so save. Whoa! Oh, hello. There's a thirty block minimum on saving. Ooh. Um, we got a problem. <laughs> we got a problem here. I can't save this on its own. Um. All right. Uh, so that's opal. I can't save that. That's the pearl. All right. So the pearl I can save. Oh no, I can't. Oh no, I can't. Oh dear. Oops. To prevent accidents. All right, so let's go here. All right, so let's save you. Override and allow save. There we go. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. I didn't know that. I was always put off by that. So, save, override, pearl, and All right. So we've done the pearl and the pill. Hey, I learned something today. Look at this little guy. I don't know what this is armed with at all. Whee! So good. Excellent. Alright, so we've saved. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent. Little drones have all been saved. Yay! Yay, 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 yay. Yay, 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 yay. Alright, we are going to just keep that there. And what's the Johnson TB? Oh, look at this drone. Awesome! Jank again! Just check. Okay, that's fine. And the Harris. Okay, this looks deliberate, so let's just do that. What is this guy. This isn't armed with anything. Yeah, it's got a little. I guess this is. Is this a cargo vessel? Yes, it is. Alright, so this guy should go in. Re Hold on. Hold on, resource and cargo. There we go. So we got a cargo ship, a cargo plane. I'm not averse to having multiple cargo things. Yeah. Those drones all do look good. They look damn fine. They look fine. They look good. Alright, so we got sparrows. Sparrow squadron. Hey, look at this! Jet fighters! Hell yes! Who done did these? Hey, Henry Wong again. Alright, let's see here. Alright, let's just do... Just do that. And where's the build on the design? And save right here and load that into planes! Right there. Perfect. Lovely, 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 lovely. Right, so we got the mountain cat. Did we... Didn't we see this guy before? Am I tripping? I think I am. Hold on. Oh, this is the mountain. Okay, it's a. This is a variant, I guess. And yeah, all right. We're gonna just shove this into. Um, we're going to shove this into the tank column. And we'll make that amphibious at some point, probably. And for now, just uh, have a sink about what you've done. <laughs> and we've got the Pachard, and this is a helicopter. Is this a cargo helicopter? I think it is. It's got an APS somewhere. I don't know where it has an APS. There it is! Oh, it's a hidden APS. Oh, look at you! Cunning! It's a little gunship. Excellent. I love how creative people are with these, like... They're all so interesting. If nothing else, like everything I've seen today, it's like, it's interesting in its own way. Yeah! Who done did this? Hey, Henry Wong again. Can we just shout, like, can we all just appreciate Henry for a second? Henry is like, you know like MVP of this whole custom campaign experience and I'm 
like, supervising at best at this point. Alright, uh, let's go... Wait a minute, did I... I just had a brain fart. Let's see here, yep, we're good. And the hood shard goes into helicopters, there we go. Whoopsie daisy, didn't mean to do that. And uh, let's go here... Yes! We have an oil rig! I saw this before, it was like, hell yeah, and this is Henry Wong again. Look at this! Gorgeous! Bloody gorgeous, mate. Look at this. It's gonna be hard to, like, come up with a thumbnail for this, because it's like... There's so many good-looking stuff for this faction. I think this is, like, fan-favorite faction for sure. I mean, fair enough, but hey, it's the small stuff which often gets overlooked uh, in projects like this, so... Good on you. And I've barely done anything, or so it feels like. Um, right, so this is... This should be... Yeah, that's a creator. So, yeah, it needs to have bugger and all. Let's, let's keep it to 1% and 1%. And let's do that, and save it. Looks so good! I love it! Okay. And that goes to resource and cargo, there we go. Or maybe... Hmm, I should... No, 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 no. We need a fortress tab. Okay, so... Four... Presses. And resource and cargo... And we're just gonna have to figure out later uh, what we gonna do when the bad boys come for you. Have any buildings on your CC? Yes, uh, we've got some buildings so far. We're gonna. Uh, we, they're like there's still gaps in it. Um, defensive turrets um, still are still needed. So for a lot of factions. So there is that. Okay, let's go here, and we have... What the hell is this? I think this is, a. Uh, Alright, this is three variants on the, uh... On, uh, the patrol helicopter. I remember this. So we got mines, we have torpedo missiles, and we have... Uh, hold on. I don't know what this one is. This has zero firepower. And this has... There we go. Again, I think these things would work best as sub-vehicles, but like, yeah. So, let's go here. MI-14 mine layer and MI-14 ASW. So, let's go and save these. Uh, this template right here, I don't think we need to save anywhere in particular. So, we'll just save this in helicopters hold on hold on hold on do you need to do this just to be sure and save here in my patrol helicopter and like probably something with guns as well or even lasers it could be fun uh mi14 asw helicopters there we go and MI-14 mine layer, there we go. Lovely, lovely. Okay then, alright. We're just going through all the list. And we're gonna leave that right the hell there. And we got, let's just delete everything because there's a little bit too much UI and this spider lily. Aha! Who done did this? That's Henry Wong again. And once again, ah uh, yeah, we've got smoke deco there. Alright, so once again, uh, the tanks are going to have to be made amphibious. Um, just because of how the map is, unfortunately, so... Yeah, it's also so that, like, in the campaign, um, they can send amphibious units, like, to, like, bully Glacave and the Amphitazwa uh, as well. So, there's that. And we got the Samson, which looks like a plane of some kind. No, it's a helicopter. Hello, hello, hello. Who done did this? Spencer, Spitfire. And, yep, of course. And let's do that. And let's chuck the Samson into the helicopters. It's a very Steel Striders design, I have to say. It's that kind of, um... 
I don't know what this is called, but you know what I mean. It's a lot of vehicles. Oh yeah, people, people really are gravitating towards the Seoul Republic. Um, I should probably make something for them. I don't think I have. Hang on, let's just go into. Hold on, Seoul Republic unnamed craft. Oh yeah, I have uh, made uh, stuff for them. Just stuff that, like you know, this is the this is a bomber I made uh, some time ago. That probably needs to be changed uh, to match the aesthetics, but yeah. What should I name this, actually? This thing isn't even, like, really finished. It doesn't have active defenses, so, um... Yeah, any suggestions for what to name it would be welcome. Whee! And yeah, it's a canoe, because for this campaign... Like, Canoe Mageddon needs canoes, let's be honest. Darkwing, yeah! Wait, what the hell's our naming convention for the Seoul Republic? I need to... I need to go look at that. Right, naming convention... For Seoul Republic... Real world military style animals, adjectives, number designations. Alright, so... What's the thing with dark wings? Dark and bird. What's a... What's a synonym for blackbird? Uh, dark foul. No, um, crow. Dark swift. I like it. Wait, no. I just no one said that. Dark avian. That's a little bit too grandiose for this. I like swift, like dark swift. I'm gonna go with that. Hold on. Let's just do this. And I'm gonna save here. I'll save over that. And save it as Dark Swift. Bummer. And I need to actually while I'm here, let's just do armor refit and change the color. Whoops, nope. Uh, color zero. To ally, let's do that. And it has camo over the top of it, so... And there's deco over there, unfortunately, so... Yeah. Hold on, I'm getting distracted, I know. And apply with mirror. And... I apply with mirror, and I can always make this thing more pretty later. There we go, and apply with mirror. So, remember the thing that has 3,000 decorations? Uh, this has 21. <laughs> okay, let's go have a look over here. Yep, I thought so. And the bombs are absolutely nothing to write home about. Uh, let's go there, apply with mirror, and apply with mirror. And the cockpit's over there, and there's nothing to write home about. Right, there we go, we got our Dark Swift right there, looking right at home, looking like a weird flying canoe. Uh, really out of odds, out of, um, out of place with all the other factions so far. Wee, Because look at this, and look down here. Admittedly, this doesn't have fleet colors yet either, so... Oh, it's got little eyeballs! Yay! <laughs> Dark Aniums is cinnamons for Blackbird. I know, I know, I know. I know. Thank you! We got there, though. We got there. Yeah. Dark Avian's good, though. Don't let me forget that. That can definitely be a name for something. Perhaps something more bird-like than that, because that's only kind of bird-like. Uh, where can I see all the info for this campaign? Uh, where is... Uh, I'm going to post uh, the link to the... What do you call it? I'm going to link for the custom campaign hub. So... Fight people... Uh, 
no limit expire after never generate a new link and you can find it here hold on CC hub there we go look for canoe mageddon and you damn it I keep forgetting I can't do that in like OBS um hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on real bird name sound by a perverted guy with binoculars okay um let's go CC hub and there you go there you go all right yeah it's like big blue tits or something all right enough of this nonsense uh let's move right along moving right along dun -dun 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 -dun. all right we got small drones and now the mario pop the hell is this Oh, I think I know what this is. What the hell is this? Um... Okay, I think this is something that's meant to be slapped on something else, so... Oh, righty-ho! Okay, that's cool. Uh, that is something that should be... Alright, I'm not going to save that in any particular folder, but... Hold on, let's just save this guy. Tiny Swole Drone. I'm just going to call it Mary Posa Drone. And save it. And let's just double check that it is supposed to be the way it is. There you go. And save again. Wait a minute. Who done did this? Henry Wong again! System on the spider lily tank and holds the drone. Hey! Oh. It appears to have fallen into a deep depression. Oh no. So if I do this now. And repair all. That is cool. I do have to. That's so cool. Right, so we're just going we are just gonna save the Mariposa drone as itself. Um, but this system here is like, yeah, this is awesome. Everyone use this. Uh, oh no! Not the mouse dying. I'm so over technical issues with computers, I gotta say. I just like I'm so done. Okay, we're almost done here actually, just in time. Alright, so small drone mariposa, leave that where it is. And the first A1, who done did this? Oh, th this is going back in time a little bit. Let's just check that it's all good here. Very Steel Striders like, me likey. So let's just save it and let's just chuck it into ships. There's a lot of ships. Oh boy, we got a lot of ships. Okay, good. It's Kerfus. Hey, welcome back, Monster Kicker. Okay, uh, what do we got here? We got a small drum, Mariposa. We got the Strider. I'm not sure what this is. It's another tank, which means... Uh, this, I'm guessing... Yep, Henry Wong. I'm just gonna chuck this into the... Needs to be amphibious later section. Oh, yeah, I, oh, yeah. <laughs> received a diagnosis. Oh no. Oh, I thought you were making a joke about Kerfirst. Oops. Sorry. What's Kerfus? Should I Google what that is? Am I gonna be scared? And yeah, um You're acoustic. Oh no Whatever shall you do Little robot. It's a cat robot. Oh. What? Oh, Okay! I, d I don't know what's happening. What is this? That's the pearl. Uh, da -da 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 -da. What was I looking at? Uh, we got the strider. We got the viking here. What is this fella? Yep! 
Who done did this? This is limited gravity. Holy crap! Look at this guy! What even is that? That is one of the best turrets I've ever seen. Look at that! Look at it! This is the Sewol Republic saying to the Glacave Dominion is like, hey, anything you can do, we can do better. Woo! We should turn off the, uh... Alright, I'm just gonna turn these off. Uh, just so this thing actually looks like a hovercraft. So, to say... Flame effect, apply to all. That's so sick! Bro! That's like, the coolest thing! Viking, who made this? Limited Gravitas, like, this is so cool. It's got a plasma cannon, like, up there as well. Just for giggles. Yeah, so they're allowed plasma, they are allowed plasma. This is so damn... That's so cool, this is like... I don't know what the lore for this thing should be. Hang on, we can check that. This is the Sewol Viking. Se whoa whoa. Whoops, I spelt that wrong. Se whoa whoa. Viking. Inception Gravitas. Ah right, it was built to uh, counter the Amphitasma, so it's like basically it's like yep. Uh, you think you're good at amphibious tanks? We're do we're gonna we're gonna clown on you now. That's so good. So good. This needs well. I guess this goes into hover tanks. I uh, didn't think I'd need a hover tank folder, but here we go. Hover tanks. There we go. Awesome. Right. All right. So there's the Viking, and we have the Widra. Widra. Oh, more good-looking stuff. Who done this? This is Comrade Tonk done this. Who done did this? Comrade Tonk did it. Comrade. Oh, I think this is the thing. I think this is the actual proper thing. Uploaded properly this time. Hang on, let's check that. It is! Alright, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Right. We we have solved the mystery. We can delete this. And we can just double check that you... You... Stop moving. Nope, nope, nope. There will be no collisions here today. And let's just double check that. And... Whoop. What the... Hello? There we go. And... I don't know why I saved it. I didn't need to. And ships. There we go. Awesome. Awesome sauce. Delicious awesome sauce. So many ships. And let's go here. Let's just despawn everything because this is a carrier. We got a chimera attack carrier with a bunch of stuff. We got three planes. Oh yeah! Inky boy! Custom version of the Iron Phantom, I've been lazy. It's all good, I'm also lazy. Um, or at least I feel lazy, like, all the time, even when I'm busy. I should talk to my therapist about that. Alright, so let's go there, and the Exocet is... Probably should be kept full of stuff. Look at that! It's like a drone carrier, that's, that's really cool. I really love this, like... I need to do something like this, this kind of, uh, like, this hybrid of a carrier and a battleship. Never worked in real life, but, like, in this game, that's also screenshot worthy. Look at that. Look at that! That is suck! This beat is stick. This beat is stick. Okay, I'm gonna shut up now. Look at that super strong. How many decos does this have? It is, uh, about 600. 600 or so. Uh, I saved it, I'm not sure why. And that goes into ships. Because it does. Jolly good. Man. 
People are so good. People are so talented. Alright, there's the Permian that's, um... Hang on, I just want to go check that the Permian's, like, in there... There we go, the Permian is uh, over at Glacave, where it should be. Uh, which means, this version we can delete. And there we go, and we've got a single sparrow, which we will save. Uh, save vehicle, over there, load, and we'll just chuck that in there, just for convenience's sake. And we're gonna go, where shall we go? We'll go here... Right, so we've got a Huntsman 3M, and this is another carrier by the looks of it. A less classy carrier than- Oh, right! This is the other thing, I think. I think it- I just deleted it. It's our Huntsman 3M. Hold on. Hold on. Hello, hello, hello. Same idea, though. Right. Less pretty, but it's okay. Alright, so you go... Keep that, and you be kept full. Damn, it's funny how the stuff groups up together like this. Let's turn that back on. And SR Huntsman 3M. And you go into ships. Like so. Researching the campaign while listening to you being amazed. Hey, good time! Contra yeah, that is, that is actually, good point everyone, that is kind of the aesthetic I was, uh, was looking for. It's kind of, like, old-timey style World War II slash Cold War craft, but futuristic elements in that. And that's just, like, I like that. I think that's so dope. It's, like, anachronistic in a way that's, like, interesting. And I'm, like, you know, I'm about that life. Alright, so we got the Sigur... Uh, ah, yes! Uh, is this the first battleship we've run into? The uh, Sigismund-class battleship? Half a million materials? Oh, lordy! This has deck... <laughs> Who done did this? Sovietskaya did this. This has how many decos? Oh my god, okay, um... Alright, uh, we're probably yeah, gonna have to trim that down a little bit. Just a little bit. Uh, also, you're gonna collide with our friend here. Please, please don't, please don't, please don't, please don't. Please don't. Why aren't you stopping? Please, please. No. Why? No. Why? Why have you done this? Alright, so let's first, uh, save it, I guess, and put it where it's supposed to be, uh, which is in ships. And then, I want to see what this looks like minus all the deco, because that will be educational. Honestly doesn't look too bad, even without the decoration, so... Oh lordy. But yeah, that that is an example of perhaps too much deco. Maybe... Um... I just don't know what the deco limit should be, because like... It's hard to do this, I know. What to do? What to do? It's like, yeah, it's hard to think about. What the hell? They deck out the barbette! Now that's just naughty. Um, that is definitely like an old style uh, battleship that like, they pulled out of storage. I guess that would be the law for it. I'm not going to check. I'm going to revel in my ignorance. Alright, so... Misericord class battleship... Oh, wait a minute. Diff version. Alright, so is this thing packing diff guns? Who done did this? This is Sotskaya, and this probably also has... Yep, 4,000 decorations and mimics. This is cool though, look at that! People really went like all out on this. Pulled their A game. And keep that full, I guess, and also keep that full. And control that, and save there. Diff version, and I'm guessing that by diff version, they mean... Uh, no, actually. They do not mean direct input. Um, 
said. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Oh no, that they, they 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 do mean that. Right, gotcha. Got it. Alright, so let's go put that in ships like so. Mm. In X six F. Right, so I don't know, here's a little plane. With little, those look like... Alright, so these are radar guarded missiles on it, so that's neat. That is neat. That is neat. I like that. It is neat. Oh, look at that. Look at that chunky boy. That chunky girl. That chunky miscellaneous. Alright, jolly good. Oh, this faction's fun. Oh, this faction's fun. I'm into it. I'm back into it. Whatever it is. All right, and we got a cruiser guided missile, a one, which isn't named. So uh, I'm just gonna chuck. I'm gonna load it in just to see what it is. Uh, let's see who done did this. This is that is a very interesting bow, a Soviet Skaya. So this thing needs to be named before it can do anything else. That's a very interesting superstructure. What's in there? Is that just the? Wait a minute. Uh, right. That's the first time I've seen people put their AI stuff, like, in the superstructure, which is not the best idea, I've got to say. Or maybe... Wait a minute, is there a reason why... No, there's no reason why, it's just a hell of a lot of... Is that just for the, like, appearance's sake? Hold on a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. That's weird. That probably needs to be changed. And, um... Yeah, I'm just gonna chuck this into... Uh, unnamed craft uh, for now. And what have we left here? We're just left with some... Uh, template uh, fortresses. And yeah, okay, we've gone through what we've got so far... For the Sewol Republic. Yeah, perfect timing as well. We've got about nine minutes to kill. What do we feel like? Oh, yeah. Whew. It's supposed to represent the electron. I mean, I guess. That's like... See, that's attention to detail that I never get really get the hang of. But, um... Groovy. Damn. You know what? I want to see these things fight. So... Let's... What have we got here? We got the Huntsman. No, no, no. Well, what do we got? We got the Chimera. Let's chuck the Chimera against the... Actually, let's chuck two Chimeras. Okay, hold on. That's... 500... Okay. That's 270. Yeah, let's chuck two chimeras against, uh... The Sigismund, just for giggles. Because I think that will be fun to watch. Right, we've got... Uh... So, the plot is... They've stolen a thing. So, the Sigismund... Let's go... Let's see what it looks... I'm not sure it's in fleet colors, so this might not look like anything. Uh, so the Klakare Dominion has hijacked it, or caused it to defect or something. Oh no, and then over here, two Chimera-class carriers are on a path to intercept. Still the plane uploaded during the- alright, good point. Uh, alright, before the big finale, let's go find that plane. Uh, what was it called? Let's just go there to Sewol, and I'll probably find it immediately. Sort by relevant, sort by most recent. Holy... Oh, wow, there's a bunch of things. Alright, so... The Twig. Alrighty. Let us subscribe to the Twig. That's a fun-looking plane. Little cheeky thing. So, let's just go get it. Oh, I found it. Oh, look at this. Look at all these things spawning in. It's just a, it's just a whole bunch of little Howacraft. Uh, that still need to be changed by the looks of it. Uh, okay. I wonder, I hope you can just change this in the designer. And it just does it. Uh, okay then. Uh, da, 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 da. What the hell do I do? Let's go to content. Download. And so we've got two twigs. Download, say blueprint to... Where am I? Let's go to Seoul Republic, and there, there's the first twig, and there's the second twig, and launch designer. And we're in the water. 
Look at this fella, this is... Is this based off the MiG-21? Whoa! I'm tripping balls! Okay, let's have a look here. Jolly good, jolly good, jolly good. Right, let's chuck the, uh, the Twig Squadron into planes. And then, I guess, the singular Twig. Oh, whoops, that's what happened. All right, uh, let's try that again. Uh, loading it on actually my team. And you're all good? Yep, 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 yep. It's a bird, it's a plane. Yes, it is a plane. Look at this twig. All right, let's uh, chuck the twig into planes and then let's just finish off watching ships blow each other up because this is from the depths, damn it, it's what we do. Okay, is that everything? Yep, it is. Jolly good. Yee, awesome. Okay, now let's uh, just watch some stuff blow up because that's funny. All right, let's go ships and it's the, uh, the Sigismund. The Carve Dominion has hijacked it. The last five minutes can be us watching uh, explosions because we've earned it we've done good uh, this uh, is very shallow water so we might see some fun collisions all right and so well will Republic and it's the chimera and 500 meters over here that should be shallow enough I hope Wee! The chimeras are steaming forth, doing chimera things. Those are actually quite strong. I think those might be railguns. Wait, no, the Klakave Dominion, it's not the seal, that's the Sewol Republic. I can actually show that, um, I hope. I don't, yeah, so see, Sewol Republic, that's the seal. Klakave Dominion is this abstract thing right here. Whew, that was close. All right, uh, who's winning, who isn't? Um... Whee! What fun! And kablooey, and kablooey. This thing is armored to hell and back by the looks of it, so... What are these shells, by the way? Let's have a look. I see big green traces, and they are... Oh, wow! They're, like... They're just solid AP, so they're going straight through the whole thing. Which probably means railgun. This is, like, so cool. Also, what are the chimeras firing? Let's have a look at that. Seal or crystal looking at- Yeah, it's a- Yeah, it's a crystal. It's a- like, Let's think of it as a crystal. What the hell is that? It's just- Oh, that's a simple weapon bullet. Okay, let's go here. If this is APHE. It appears to have done something. Awesome! Whew! We just get to sit back, chill, and watch things happen. Okay, those are bombs which are more like it. Woof! And there's the flying boat, uh, having a very bad day. It's a bad day to be a flying boat when uh, the enemy has up to date. Oh dear, we never really got to see it. Oh, we hardly knew ye. We hardly knew ye at all. 
All that's left of you is, uh, well, nothing now. We And that thing is damaged and is presumably being re What the hell just happened? We I love how the music does not match uh the battle that's going on right now at all. Wait, these are... Oh yeah, they're bombs. Okay. Yep. Oh, it's got Seawiz too. Not all the bombs are working. But enough of them are working. Let's see here. 94%. 87. 98. I don't know who is going to win this one. Hmm. Alright. Ah, oh, boy. Uh, I think we're done. I think we're done. Oh, okay. Oof. I mean, the proportions of the... of the Glacave Dominion, eh? Yay! Nice one, driver. Okay, I think we're done with this stream because now we're just we're just hanging out, uh, watching things. But hang on, are you immobilized? No, you're not. Right. So the Sewol Republic. I'm so happy uh, with this faction. They're they have a lot of interesting craft. Um, there's a lot of tidying up to do. Um, there's a little bit too much deco on some of them, and um, yeah. So anyone watching this, be aware. Try and keep the deco limit. Let's say below a thousand if you can. And um, sub vehicles, it does need them if it doesn't have one. Or spawn in a squadron, that works as well. And uh, what else? What else? Uh, the tanks need to be amphibious. What else did we figure out? Um, <laughs> uh, what's impossible? What the hell? What notification is that? Did I just get hacked? Oh, no. Like, alright. The store's updating. Great. Alright. Just go below 5,000 by deleting a bunch of details. Alright. Alright, fine. Like, below... Below 5,000, let's say. Remembering that, like, this thing you're looking at right there has, like... Damn it. Damage debugging? Oh. Alright. This is an enemy craft, I can't actually calculate that. I need to make a cram battleship for Sawowl at some point. Let me just... I'm gonna make a note of that. Ah, no! My other headphones! No! Alright. Ah, which note should I go on? Uh, there's that. Cram... Ship. I need one of those. I'm... Not great at realistic designs, though, so you're gonna have to bear with me. Alright, I think the carriers are gonna take that just because those bombs are making a bit of a mess. Uh, they're gonna they're gonna do it eventually. Oh, wow. You drove close, didn't ya? Alright, so that'll do for the stream. I'm not getting above 1k. I mean, it depends on your building habits. Okay, I'm, I, I'm waffling on now, so... This was a good stream. It made up so much so for the last one. The the Border Triple R streams are cursed, it seems. Maybe I am cursed to be a From the Depths content creator and nothing but. But you should still go check out my second channel because there's fun things on it. And yeah, so usual industry and stuff. Like and follow. Subscribe if you like on the YouTube and on the Twitch for both channels, Border Wise and Border RRR. And the custom campaign hub, uh, there should be a link in this if you're watching the VOD, and there was a link earlier in chat. What? <laughs> Alright, okay. Alright, right. alright! That's funny. Okay, and uh... I forgot what I was talking about. Oh yeah, Two of Rogues, that is a novel I've written, you should go check it out, so... 
I should promote that in my actual videos rather than just streams. Lurk. So anyway, I will see you next week for more stuff, and have a good one, and I will see you then. Farewell.